Okay, getting my screen set up. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's me, it's Mark, and I'm here with you for another live stream class. Yeah, before I do anything, I need to know if you can see me and hear me. If you can see me and hear me, please say yes in the chat so I know everything is A-OK. -okay. If you can see me, if you can hear me, please say yes, lolly 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 says yes. That means you can see me and hear me and that makes me happy. <laughs> hello lolly, thank you so much. Trolley, hello Mary Poppins, hello. All right, there's Chi Kid is in the house, good. Ahmed is here, Tomas, hello Tomas, how are you doing? I see Fabricio, Ella, hello Ella. Okay, we have a good crowd as always. Mitra is here. Hello, Mitra. Harry 300 is here. Sleepwalker is here. Miley is here. Okay, good, good, good. All right, all right, all right. Well, um, thank you for being here because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. That's right, Rena, thank you. Well, we always have a toast for good luck, so let's do that. Let's always, well, <laughs> we always have our toast for good luck. Let's do that. We need luck. Um, we all can use some good luck, so let's do that. So whatever you're drinking, pick it up. And of course, I have coffee right here. Actually, I made this this morning, and there's not much left, but that's okay. I have this. I have my leftover coffee and I have water. So I'm good for this class. Yes. Okay. We're going to have two toasts. Our first toast is for the green team. Yes. You see them. Their names are in green. They support me. They support the channel by supporting me and the channel. They are supporting everyone. So let's give the green team a big thank you. Cheers. If you don't have a beverage, we can fist bump. Bump. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. And because we had a toast, we have to have a drink. Bottoms up. Mmm. Yes. Now for our second toast. It's for you. Because without you, there's no reason for me to be here. So let's toast to you. Let's toast to a fun, interesting, informative, and productive lesson today. Cheers. Bump. Cheers. Bump. And because we had a toast, let's have a drink. <laughs> Mm. Okay. Well, we're going to be here for two hours, so I hope you are comfortable. I hope you are ready to practice with me and, of course, with the chat. Lots of good things happen in the chat. And by the way, because of spamming and bots, I have only subscribers can enter the chat. So I put the settings for only subscribers. I do that because I, want, I don't want bots in the chat. I don't want spamming in the chat. We want a safe and um, nice experience, right? We want the chat to be fun and safe. So if you want to enter the chat, please subscribe. All right, so um, we're gonna be for two hours and um, we're gonna do five activities. Five activities and here they are, here are our activities for today. We're going to do superlatives. We're going to practice superlatives. That means like the best, right? So you have, um, for example, let's say uh, small, smaller, small list. <laughs> we could say it's hot, it's hotter, it's the hottest, okay? So we're going to do superlatives. Then we're going to do what's wrong. I'm going to... Um, so that the, the picture and sentence doesn't really match and there's something wrong and so you're going to fix the sentence. Then we're going to do describe and guess and the topic is summer. I'm going to describe a thing connected with summer and you're going to guess what I am describing. Then we will do um, dictation cards and then we will do Lolly's Revenge, all right? So it's gonna be busy today, it's gonna be fun today, so I hope you are ready. And um, I'm looking forward to being here with you for two hours, and I hope you are looking forward to being with me here for two hours, and of course, with the chat, right? And so um, 
that's where everything happens in the chat. So um, anyways, let's get right to it, shall we? Because we're always fighting time. Yes, time is not on our side. Time just keeps moving too quickly. Hey, Ron. Ron is in the house. Hey, Ron. How are you? Anisha is here. Hello, Anisha. Okay, Samuel is here. Hello, Samuel. Good, 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 good. All right. Uh, Farah. Hello, Farah. Farah is here. Good, 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 good. Um, oh, you're very welcome, Harry. I do my best. We all should try to um, share energy and smile, right? I try to do my part. <laughs> okay. Um, all right. Uh, Normada is here. Okay. Let's get right to it. And we're going to do um, some superlatives right at the beginning. And um, I'm going to draw some pictures. I'm going to draw some people. And this is people in a town. Okay. I'm going to draw some people in a town. People in a town. And we're going to use superlatives to describe these people. Yeah. So number one, this is activity number one. We're doing five, so I'm going to keep things in order. So that's why I wrote one. And so, um, so this is um, people, people in town. Let's just say that, people in town. So they're in town, and these are the people. So I'm going to do my best to draw pictures here. And they're going to be very simple pictures, all right? Very simple, and like here. Okay, <laughs> this is Peter. Say hello to Peter. And Peter is polite. Peter is polite. Okay, we got Peter, and then here is, this is Tim. Tim, his name's Tim. And Tim is talented. Tim is talented. Talented Tim. And our next person is Ted. This is Ted. And um, here we, no, that's not very good. That's not good hair. <laughs> oh boy. See, it's gonna be more, it's gonna be, okay, Tim's gonna have, or no, um, Ted's gonna have curly hair. How about that? So there is, and his, his eyes are gonna be different. Okay. And, um, this is Ted, and Ted is tall, tall Ted. So we got polite Peter, talented Tim, and tall Ted. <laughs> and we got another person, yeah, this is a town, so we got people, and this is Fran. Yeah, Fran has bangs. This is Fran, and Fran has big eyes. Yeah, she's very kind, and she's friendly. Fran is friendly. Friendly Fran. This is Fran, and she is friendly. Okay, and then our next person is Nick. Oh, Nick. And Nick, how can I do his hair? Okay, Nick is going to have um, just, just kind of this kind of hair. It's kind of just, just kind of squiggly hair, and this is and Nick, Nick has um, kind of these kind of eyes, kind of droopy eyes. Okay, there's, there's Nick, and he's very noisy. Nick is noisy. Noisy Nick. So Nick is noisy. Very noisy. Okay, and then let's just do one more person because I'm running out of room. I don't have space. We can, we can add more people next time. Okay. And our next person is, okay, let's make this Emily. Okay, this is Emily, and Emily has um, just straight long hair. How about that? Emily has straight long hair. She has big eyes. She has a big smile. And Emily is energetic. Here's Emily, and she is energetic. Energetic. Okay, there's Emily. So here's the people in town. We got Peter. Peter's polite. Tim is talented. Ted is tall. 
Fran is friendly, Nick is noisy, Emily is energetic. So we can just go, polite Peter. Can you say polite Peter? Here we go, polite Peter. Talented Tim. <laughs> now we got tall Ted. Okay, we got friendly Fran. Okay, good. We got noisy Nick. All right, noisy Nick. And we got energetic Emily. Energetic Emily, yeah. She has lots of energy. She is energetic and they live in town, this town. <laughs> and here are some, of course, I'm going to ask you questions, all right? So here we go. This is who, who, who is, who's the most... A person in town. Okay, and then, and then, um, okay, and then he or she is. Okay, and then you're going to finish. Okay, so here we go. In the, in the chat, okay, you're going to tell me who the person is, okay? So our first part, part one there, I'm going to ask you this, right? Here's the question here. Okay, um, who is the, who's the most, or, okay, so we, we could have the most or ist. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to, I need to kind of hold on hold on I'm gonna we'll do that after okay so we have the most and then who's so without most okay that works Okay, so there's, there's a few. Okay, we're going to use, for some of these adjectives, these are adges, adjectives describing people, right? So polite, Peter is polite. Polite is an adjective describing Peter. Talented is an adjective describing Tim. Tall is an adjective describing Ted. Friendly is an adjective describing Fran. Noisy is an adjective describing Nick. Energetic is an adjective describing Emily, okay? So you tell me who, okay, here we go. Who's the tallest person in town? Who's the tallest person in town? Who's the tallest person in town? So please, um, in the chat, please tell me who is the tallest person in town? Good, good. All right, Trolley. So um, please make a sentence. Okay, so you're correct, Todd, or Ted, I'm sorry, Ted. Okay, there we go. Sleepwalker has a sentence. Ted is the tallest person in town. Good, 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 good. Lolly says, Ted is the tallest person in town. Good, Harry. Okay, you guys got it. Okay, Miley. Okay, good, good. So who is the tallest person in town? Yes, Ted is the tallest person in town. Okay, good. How about, okay, here we go. Next. Who is the most friendly, who, okay, no, friendliest. <laughs> okay, we got, who's the friendliest person in town? Who is the friendliest person in town? Who is the friendliest person in town? Yeah, Ron, good. So Ted is the tallest in town. Okay, Sleepwalker, Fran is the friendliest person in town. Good, yes, yes. So Fran is the friendliest person in town. 
good, 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 good. Yes, 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 yes. All right. No problem here. No problem. Okay, here we go. This is number three. Who is the most talented in town? Who is the most talented in town? Yeah, so it's a little different now. Who is the most talented in town? Okay, good, Sleepwalker. Ted is the most talented in town. Good. I should probably keep track of who I'm talking about. Oh, I need a pen. So hold on. Let me. I, I'm. I, I'll forget who I'm talking about. <laughs> so, okay, I'm making a memo here. Okay, so we, we got Tall Ted, right? We did Tall Ted. Tall Ted is done. We did um, Talented, right? Ted, we did, or no, not Ted, Tim. Who is the, no, Friendliest. We did Fran, right? Fran. Friend, the friend is the friendliest. And we just did Tim is the most talented, right? We did Tim. Okay, so we have Fran. We did we did Fran. We did Ted. We did Tim. Okay. Now, <laughs> now, number four. Okay. Who is the most polite, or we could say politest. No, no, most polite. Who is the most polite in town? We say for polite, we use most, all right? Who is the most polite person in town? Who is the most polite person in town? Who is the most polite person in town? I'm writing this down, so I keep track of who I'm talking about. Good, Sleepwalker. So, Peter is the most polite person in town. Good. Peter is the most polite person in town. Very good. Peter is the most polite person in town. So, for polite, we use most. That's right. Peter is the most polite person in town. Good, good, good. Okay, let's go to our next person. Okay, I just decided. Okay, here we go. Who is the the noisiest person in town? Who is the noisiest person? <laughs> that would be baldest. That that doesn't make sense. <laughs> the baldest. You're bald if you're bald. I think you are Fabrizio. <laughs> no, I am, I guess. Okay, who is the noisiest in town? Good, good. Yes, yes, yes. Nick. That's right. Nick is the noisiest. Nick is the noisiest person in town. Maya, hello. Mwah, good to see Maya. How are you, Maya? Maya's in town. Maya's in the house, I should say. Not in town. She's not here in town. Maya's not in town. No. <laughs> I don't see Maya. Maybe Maya would be, um, who's the most beautiful person in town, right? That would be Maya. <laughs> okay. So we got the noisiest, right? Nick is the noisiest. Okay, let's go. Okay, we got we did Ted, we did Fran, we did Tim, we did Peter, we did Nick. Who, one more person. Ah, who is the, the most energetic person in town? Who is the most inter, energetic, energetic person in town? Who is the most energetic person in town? Who is that? Okay, nice, nice, nice. <laughs> oh, thank you, Maya. 
Okay, Sleepwalker. Emily is the most energetic person in town. Yay. Okay. Good, 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 good. Yes. Good, Miley. Emily is the most energetic person in town. Good, good, good. All right. So did you see what I did here? So I, I used the names to, um, well, kind of a play with the names, right? Because T, Ted, Tall, right? They both start with T. Tim, talented. Peter, polite. Fran, friendly. Nick, noisy. Emily, energetic, right? And so I, I used um, the first letter of the name with the first letter of the um, adjective. So let's see. Who can we, okay, Lolly, right? Lolly is lovely. Who's the loveliest person in town? Lolly is the loveliest person in town, yeah? Um, sleepwalker, let's see, S Sleepwalker, who is the sleepiest person in town? <laughs> sleepwalker is the sleepiest person in, time, in town. Miley, m -m -m Miley, let's see, how about, um, what'd be, what's an adjective for M? Um, Magnificent? Who is the most magnificent person in town? <gasps> Miley is the most magnificent person in town. Yes, all right. Um, oh, Fabricio, F -f -f Fabricio. Funny, who's the funniest person in town? Who's the funniest person in town? Fabricio is the funniest person in town. <laughs> okay, see what I did? All right, all right. Well, um, I have one more question about these people I want to ask you. Okay, now I'm going to just say the person and you tell me who they are, okay? So, um, who's Peter? Who's Peter? Oh, Harry. Harry is the, the most handsome person in town. Who's the most handsome person in town? Harry's the most handsome person in town. <laughs> Okay, man oh man. Okay, good, good, good. All right, who is Peter? Number one, question number one. Who is Peter? Who? Oh, Marcos is in town. Who's the best dentist in town? <laughs> Who's the best dentist in town? Marcos is the best dentist in town. Okay, so I have a question for you. Who is Peter? Okay, Umesh. Peter is the most polite person in town. Good, good, good. Or you could, yeah. Peter is the most polite person in town. Most polite person in town. So for, for um, polite, we use most. The most polite person in town. You're welcome, Marcos. Who's the best dentist in town? Marcos is the best dentist in town. That's right, Mary. Marcos is the best dentist in town. Okay, so who is Peter? Peter is the most polite person in town. Good, Fabricio. Okay, good. That's how we're gonna, that's how we're doing it. Tetsuro, how are you doing? Yeah, today is a holiday in Japan. Okay. That's right. We have a dentist in the group here. Okay, who's Tim? Who is Tim? Oh, Lolly, you're too kind. Mwah, Lolly. Lolly is the loveliest in town. Lolly is the loveliest in town. Okay. Who is Tim? Who is Tim? Okay, here we go, Fabrizio. Tim is, okay, um, the most talented person in town. Good, 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 good. So Tim is the most Talented in town. Good, good. Tim is the 
most talented in town? Who is Ted? Who is Ted? Number three, who is Ted? You, you mean most? More and more? Okay, okay, I'm not, Manome, are you, do you mean when we use um, est, like tallest and most polite? Is that what you mean? Okay, who is Ted? Ted is the tallest. Ted is the tallest person in town. Good. <laughs> Fabrizio, Tim has the nicest has the nicest haircut. Okay. Who is Fran? Who is Fran? Ted is the funniest person in town. Okay, good. Who is Fran? Who is Fran? Ted is the funniest person in town. Tim has the nicest haircut, says Fabricio. <laughs> Who is that, Tim? Tim has the, yeah, that's a nice haircut. I like it too, I like it too. That's the easy way to do it. Just, ch -ch 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 ah, finished. Where, do you, how about Peter? How about Peter? Okay, Miley, Fran is the friendliest person in town. Good, good. Yep. Good, good, Henna. Good, good, good. Tomas, Fran is the most, fr okay, the friendliest. So we, we can't use uh, most with est, okay, Tomas? E-S-T. So we, we can't do that. So Samuel says, Fran is the friendliest person in town. Good. Marco's friend is the richest person in town. Good. Yeah, you guys do whatever you want. Play with the play with the language. That's how you know. That's how we um, practice. Just just do what you want. So you can see Marcos. Marcos is adding different adjectives. That's fine. More. That's more practice. Fabrizio Ted doesn't need a star to change stairs. Oh, okay, a, a, he, okay, Ted doesn't need a ladder to change light bulbs. He is the tallest person in town. Good, 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 good. Or you could say, Fabricio, um, whenever someone needs a light bulb change, they call, they call Ted because he's the tallest in town. <laughs> whenever somebody needs their light bulb changed, they call Ted because he's the tallest in town. Okay, Fran, did we do Fran? Yeah, okay, Fran is the friendliest person in town. Fran is the friendliest person in town. Who is Nick? Who is Nick? Okay, Tomas has a question here. I'll, I'll let you know. Okay, syllables. Okay, so the, the trick here is syllables. Okay, so polite. So, okay, so it's case by case, Tommaso, for um, the, the most polite. We say for polite, we use most, but tall. And so there's one, one syllable, tall. So we say tall, taller, tallest. But talented talented. So there's three syllables. So we say most, the most talented person. Who's the most talented? So it's syllables. Um, if it's over two syllables, then it's most. Case by case, but sometimes it's not. So for example, polite, we use most. So the most polite. But for talented, so it's the, the most talented. Tall, 
tallest. Friendly, friendliest. Friendly, two syllables, friendliest. Noisy, two syllables, the noisiest. Energetic, the most energetic. Energetic, the most energetic. So it's syllables, more than two syllables, it's most. Um, one or two, then it's E-S-T. Oh, I like that, Sleepwalker. Um, let's see. No, who said, oh, Umesh. Nick is the most magical person in town. I like that one. Okay. Let's see. Nick has a rock band. He is the noisiest person in town. Good, 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 good. Oh, oh okay, man, oh, man. Yeah, so it, it's syllables. So, so here, just tall, so we'd say tallest. So um, it, it depends on syllables. And if you have a doubt, you can use a dictionary. So if you have a doubt, um, if, okay, is it, is it, Best, like tallest, or is it the most? If you have doubt, use a dictionary or, or check a dictionary. Okay, um, who is, okay, we did Nick. Okay, one more. Who is Emily? Here's the last one. Who is Emily? Who is Emily? Okay, good, friend. Or, or Miley says, Fran is the most attractive in the city. Good. So attractive, attractive. That's three syllables, so we use most. So good, good, Miley. Fran is the most attractive in town. Okay, who is Emily? Okay, Sleepwalker, Emily is the most energetic person in town. Good. energetic person the most energetic person who who is Emily o okay so here we go Lolly says more slowly or slowliest um, okay I would say slowly but so who, okay, slow, slower, slowest. So slowly, that, that's okay. So, Lolly, it's slow, slower, slowest, slowest. So who's the slowest person, All right? Who's the slowest person? Okay, she is the most energetic person in town. Emily is the cutest in town. Good, 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 good. So Marcos thinks Emily is the cutest in town. Good, good, good. So cute is one adjective, or I mean one syllable, so we um, use E-S-T, est, cutest. Okay, yeah. You're welcome, Lolly. Mwah. Okay, we, we will do this again on Friday, okay? On Friday, we always review. Um, our first act. So we usually do form a sentence, but instead of that, we did this today. Okay. So um, <laughs> Emily is the most energetic person in town. She actually can play football. Wow. Okay. Good. 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 The most energetic. Yes. Emily is the most energetic. Peter is the politest. Um, Tim is the most talented. Ted is the tallest. Fran is the friendliest. Nick is the noisiest. Emily is the most energetic. Okay, good, 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 good. We will review this again on Friday, all right? So it's time. I'm looking at the clock. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. We have to change topics because I'm looking at the clock. And it's time for number two, activity number two. What's wrong? What is wrong? So our second activity, what is wrong? What's 
what is wrong. So I'm going to show you a, um, I'm going to show you some sentences with pictures. And the sentences are wrong because the, the, the picture and sentence doesn't really match, right? There's something wrong with the sentence. We have to look at the picture. And does the sentence match the picture? Does the sentence match the picture? Oh, okay. Tomas, blackest. Hold on, hold on. I got to show. So, um, black is one um, syllable. Black. And so, it would be est. Mark's shirt is the blackest in class. Okay, Tomas? So, at... So syllable is the, the vowel, right? So ah, ah, black. And so that's one syllable. Yeah, that's right, Tomas. Blackest. Now it, it it's there's no I, just EST. Yeah, Tomas, there you go. Okay, good, 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 good. All right. So here we go. I'm going to I'm going to show you the worksheet. I'm going to give you about a minute to, to look at the picture and read the sentence and see what's wrong, okay? And then in the chat, you're going to tell me which one is wrong, okay? But first, you're just going to look at the sentence and the picture. Okay, there it is. And so the, the sentences don't really match the picture. There's something wrong with the sentence. So for example, um, last week we did, so for example, peel the jam on the bread. No, we don't say that. We say spread the jam on the bread. So that's, that's strange, right? So this is a picture of a jar of jam, and the sentence says, peel the jam on the bread. Oh, that we don't say that. We say, spread the jam on the bread. So that's, that's what we're doing. Okay, so I'm going to give you... A little bit more time to look over the sentence and look at the picture. Last week we also did um, the tea bag, a bag of tea. I paid a bag of tea. No, 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 no. I, I bought a bag of tea, right? We don't say I paid a bag of tea. We say I bought a bag of tea. We did that last week. And then we also did um, be sure... Be sure to take a little every day. No, no, no. You want to save. So be sure to save a little every day. That's a piggy bank. And so it should be not take. You don't want to take from the piggy bank. You want to um, put in, right? So be sure to um, save a little every day. You can say be sure to put in a little every day, right? Because we want to save with the piggy bank piggy bank. We don't want to take. Okay, now I'm going to take it away. Now you're going to have to listen. So I'm, I'm just going to, uh, let's see there. It's gone. Okay, now um, what I'm going to do here is I have I have this right here, and you don't know which one I'm going to um, read, all right? So that's the challenge, right? So you're going to listen. I'm going to read the sentence on here, and you're going to fix the sentence, all right? I'm going to read the sentence, and it's wrong. The, ma the sentence does not match the picture. It's wrong. So you're going to fix the sentence, okay? Here we go. Countdown. What is wrong? What is wrong? Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Number, our first one. Put in the toast from the toaster. Oops. 
put in the toast from the toaster. Tomas, nice. Yes. Put in the toast from the toaster. Good, good sleepwalker. Okay, Lolly says remove. Remove the toast. Yeah, remove works. That's right, Harry. Yeah, take out. Remove the toast from the toaster. Yeah, that works. So the, the, the key word here is from the toaster, right? So from. You could put, put in the, you could say put in the bread, put, put the bread in the toaster. But here the key word is from the toaster. So from the toaster. From. So we could say um, take out the toast from the toaster. We could say remove the toast from the toaster. That's right. So we have two choices. Good, Ron. We could say take out the toast from the toaster. Good. Yeah, Marcos, take out the toast from the toaster. Good. Fabricio, take out the toast. Take the toast out from the toaster. That works. Yep, Fabricio. That works. Hey, Sham, how are you? Mwah. Um, take out the bread from the toaster, okay? Lolly, pull the toast out from the toaster. Pull out, okay. Pull the toast out from the toaster. Lolly, that works. Yes, you can say that. The toast is smoking now. Yeah, it's burning. The toast is burning. The toast is on fire. <laughs> take it out. Take it out. The toast is on fire. <laughs> Call the fire department. Put out the toast from the toaster. Put out, no, that'd be, Samuel, that'd be like, put out the fire. So we say take out or pull out, not put out. Put out, for example, put out the fire. Yeah, Cho, no, not put out, no. Take out. Take out, pull out, take up. No, up doesn't work. No, take out, take out. Get the toast from the toaster. Okay, Sleepwalker, that works. Get the toaster from the toaster. Get the toast from the toaster. Yes, that works. Get, so if that would be a situation, I'm in the living room, you're in the kitchen. I go, Sleepwalker. Get the toast out from the toaster. Get the toast from the toaster, right? So I would say, get the toast from the toaster, right? And I'm yelling to you, get the toast. Don't put bread with jam in the toaster. No, don't do that. No. Nope. Then it's going to be really smelly and it's going to be messy, right? Because you don't want the jam in the toaster. No, don't put, don't, don't put jam on the bread before putting the bread in the toaster. Don't do that. Don't spread the jam on the bread before putting it in the toaster. Don't spread the jam on the bread before putting it in the toaster. Thank you, Sleepwalker. <laughs> Take the toast away from the toaster. The toast is on fire now. Call the fire department. <laughs> Take out the toast from the toaster. Yes. Okay, here we go. Number two here. Yeah, don't butter the toast before putting it in the toaster. Don't do that. No, just, just put the plain bread in. Just put the plain bread in the toaster. Save the toast from the toaster. It's burning. <laughs> good, good, everyone. Good job. You see, you guys are playing with the language. You're playing with English, and that's how you improve. Play with it. You're doing great. Okay, here we go. Let's do a new one. Okay, here we go. Our next one. Don't do the clipboard. Don't, don't do the clipboard. 
Don't do the clipboard. Don't put butter on the bread before putting it in the toaster. No, do it after. Put butter on the bread after you toast it. Good sleepwalker. Don't do the clipboard. Our next one here, number two today. Don't do the clipboard. Don't do the clipboard. Don't do the clipboard. Okay, good. So sleepwalk, uh, my, my mouth gets all tangled up, gets twisted sometimes. Sleepwalker, don't use the clipboard. Lolly, don't write on the clipboard. Sleepwalker, don't forget the clipboard. Okay, Cho, don't do the clipboard. No, don't do that. No, we don't, don't do the clipboard. We don't say that. Mitra, don't use the clipboard. Fabricio, don't use the clipboard. Tomas, don't use the clipboard. Harry, don't break the clipboard. Don't do the click on the, okay, the click, right? So this, this is a clipboard right here. And I think the click you're saying, this is a click, click, click. Don't click the clipboard. <laughs> Say that fast. Don't click the clipboard. I can't say it. Okay, here we go. Ready, everyone? Don't click the clipboard. Don't click the clipboard. Don't click the clipboard. Oh, my mouth. My tongue. I need some, I need some liquid. Ah. Don't erase the clipboard. Good, good. Yes, Lolly. Don't touch the clipboard. That works. Oh, you got lots of possibilities here. Don't work in the clip. Don't don't work with the clipboard. Okay, Chi kid. Don't work with the clipboard. Not in, but with. Don't work with the clipboard. Lots of possibilities here, right? Many possibilities. Don't use the clipboard, Tro. Lolly, don't erase the clipboard. Miley, don't waste the clipboard. Sleepwalker, don't lose the clipboard. Cho, don't use the clipboard. Shams, don't use the clipboard. Samuel, don't move the clipboard. <laughs> Harry. Uh, Sleepwalker, don't throw the clipboard. No, don't throw it. Don't smack your friend over the head with the clipboard. No, no, no smacking your friend on the head with the clipboard. <laughs> Don't work with the clipboard. Yeah, Chi. Don't leave the clipboard. Yes, don't leave it. Don't leave it at work. Don't leave the clipboard at school. Don't leave the clip. Don't leave the clipboard in the kitchen. Don't leave the clipboard in the living room. Don't leave the clipboard in the car. Don't forget the clipboard, says Miley. Tomas, clear the clipboard. Don't touch the clipboard. Don't fill in the clipboard. Fill in. Maybe, you know, fill in the clipboard. Don't blurry. Okay, don't blurry the clipboard. Don't. Okay, blurry. Marco says, like, you don't have a clear, like, you'd say, oh, the picture is blurry, right? So, blurry, it's not clear. And so, we usually use blurry with, with photographs or, or, you know, something's, it's out of focus. It's blurry. So, Marcos, um, change your, your sentence, please. So, blurry is with photographs. Yeah, there you go, Sleepwalker. Don't fill in the clipboard. Don't forget the clipboard. Yes, Ferrax. Cho, don't touch the clipboard. Ron, don't forget the clipboard. Fabricio, don't write on the clipboard. Okay, so not in, but on. Don't write on the clipboard. Right? We want it clean. Yeah, don't write on the clipboard. We want it clean. Lolly, don't stain the clipboard. Okay, yeah, so like you could stain it. You know, if I, if I spilled coffee on the clipboard, 
it would be there would be a stain mark it would leave a, the coffee will leave a stain on the clipboard the coffee so like don't put the coffee cup on the clipboard because it'll leave a stain don't put the coffee tumbler on the clipboard because it will leave a stain don't write on the clipboard good Fabricio don't rule out the clipboard <laughs> Don't rule it out. So meaning we, we don't rule out the clipboard. So that's kind of strange. Um, who, who wrote that? Sleepwalker. No. Rule out. Yeah. Okay. Sleepwalker wrote, don't rule out the clipboard. That meaning um, it's a possibility, right? Don't rule it out. Meaning it can happen. So I wouldn't use that rule out for clipboard. That don't rule out so it, it, like it's a possibility if you're like a police officer and you are you know investigating a crime don't rule out the neighbor right let's say there is a, a, a murder in the neighborhood someone was murdered in the neighborhood someone died and so the police say oh don't rule out the mother don't rule out the father don't rule out the grandparents right so don't you know they're they it's possible that they did it right so but the clipboard can't do anything right it just sits here <laughs> it doesn't do anything so rule out doesn't really um fit be careful don't break the clipboard don't drop the clipboard good ron don't drop the clipboard Wally, don't change the clipboard. No, don't change it. I like this clipboard. Don't change the clipboard. I like it. Don't step on the clipboard. Good, Harry. You'll break it. Don't step on the clipboard. You will break it. Don't look at the clipboard. <laughs> hey, don't look at the clipboard. Don't, don't, don't look at the clipboard. <laughs> don't change the clipboard without permission. Don't fill in the clipboard. Don't wrap in the clipboard. Wrap in the clipboard. No, we don't say that. Don't, don't wrap. So wrap in the clip. No, that doesn't really like wrap. Don't um, mark the clipboard. How about that? Don't mark the clipboard. Okay, let's do one more. Let's, we got to change. Okay, one more. Here we go. We got to fix the sentence here. Okay, here we go. How do you keep a necktie? Don't fold the clipboard. No, it'll break. Don't write on the clipboard. How do you keep a necktie? How do you keep a necktie? Fix the sentence. How do you keep a necktie? Fix the sentence. There you go, Sleepwalker. You are very clever, Sleepwalker. Sleepwalker is the cleverest person in town. <laughs> Sleepwalker is the smartest person in town. Who's the smartest person in town? Yeah, good, good, Lolly. Tomas, how do you wear a necktie? That works, yep, yep. How do you keep a necktie? No. How do you tie a necktie? How do you wear a necktie? That's good, Tomas, that works. Ah, adjust. Good, Sleepwalker. How do you adjust a necktie? Yes, Ron, how do you tie a necktie? Mitra, how do you tie a necktie? Maya, how do you wear a ne necktie? That works. How do you wear a necktie? Good, good, Maya. Yeah, Samuel, how do you wear a necktie? Troll, how do you tie a necktie? Sleepwalker, how do you choose a necktie? That works. How do you sleep on a necktie? I don't know. <laughs> How, don't sleep in a necktie, please. Don't sleep in a necktie. 
Marcos, how do you tie a necktie? Good. Lolly, how do you wash a necktie? That's good. Miley, how do you tie the necktie? Fabrizio, how do you choose a necktie? Harry, how do you fasten a necktie? That works. Sleepwalker, how do you put on a necktie? That works. Cho, how do you tie a necktie? Ron, how do you how do you put on a necktie? So, Ron, put on, put on. How do you put on a necktie? That works. Okay, Ferex. How do you wear a necktie? Good. Maya, how do you put No, put on a necktie. Maya, put on. Oh, pick out. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Maya, I I my eyes. <laughs> my mistake. Pick out. That that is correct. Pick out means choose, right? How do you pick out a necktie? So how you pick out a necktie, you look at the shirt and does the necktie match the shirt? Yeah. That's how you pick out a necktie. D what shirt do you want to wear with the necktie? And does the necktie match the shirt? If the necktie matches the shirt, then that's how you pick out a necktie. <laughs> okay, Mary says, how do you wash a necktie? Maitra, how do you get a necktie? You get a necktie in a department store. Tomas, who likes to wear a necktie? Sometimes I do. Sometimes I feel like wearing a necktie. Sometimes I don't wear. Sometimes I feel like wearing a necktie. Sometimes I don't feel like wearing a necktie. In the summer, I don't like wearing a necktie in the summer, but the winter, I don't mind. Spring, I don't mind. Summer, I mind. In summer, I mind a necktie. Okay, um, John says, how do you iron a necktie? Sleepwalker, how do you not, okay, make a knot. Or how do you, how do you make a knot for a necktie? How do you make a knot for a necktie? How do you make a knot for a necktie? How do you tie a necktie? How do you put on a necktie, Troll? Samuel, how do you make a knot for a necktie? How do you make a knot for a necktie? <laughs> Miley, how do you get, okay, how do you get out a stain in a necktie? How do you get out a stain? in a necktie. How do you, yeah, get out a stain in a necktie? Sleepwalker, how do you get used to a necktie? By wearing it. <laughs> By wearing one, that's how you get used to it. Marcos, how do you untie a necktie? Very good, untie. Yeah, nice. Just pull it. <laughs> Boop. Very easy. You could, you could undo a necktie very easily. It's easier to untie than to tie, right? Troublemaker, how you doing? Yeah, make a knot. Good sleepwalker. Make a knot. How do you make a knot for a necktie? Where do you buy a necktie? In a department store. Oh, okay, wedding means tie the knot. So we don't just say tie for, for getting married. We say tie the knot. Hey, you want to tie the knot? So, so the, the man says to the woman, let's tie the knot. That means let's get married. Let's tie the knot. Rossi, good morning. It's 6 a.m. in Brazil. That's right. It is 6 p.m. in Japan. Fabrizio, how do you hide a knot? Don't wear it. <laughs> how do you hide a necktie? So, okay. Ah, my eyes are getting bad. Sorry, Fabrizio. How do you hide a necktie? Don't wear it. Okay, here we go. Miley, how do you get out a stain in a necktie? 
One more time, Miley, fix it once again. How do you get out a stain in a necktie? How do you get out a stain in a necktie? Take it to the dry cleaner. Take it to the dry cleaner. Okay, good job. Okay, yeah, Shams, how do you use a necktie? How do you use a necktie? Okay. Where is my necktie? <laughs> I'm casual today. I'm casual today. Today, no necktie for me. Today, but I, I could just, I could button the top button here and then I become more formal like this. There, that's a little more. Here, I'm a little more formal now. Still, no necktie, but I got the top button done. I got the top button done, so I'm a little more formal now, but it's a little, it's, it's a little tight, a little tight in the neck. So I'm just gonna go like here and loosen it up a little. Now, it's, now it's a little looser, a little more comfortable. Okay, good job, everyone. How, Joseph asks, how do you choose a good necktie? Yeah, I just, you have to, Neckties are, are interesting because there are many different patterns and many colors and and so I I kind of like how neckties go with shirts and pants. I kind of like that. I, I I do. Oh, Rossi. <laughs> tomorrow. Tomorrow, Rossi. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Okay. Uh, let's go to number three, everyone. I'm looking at the clock. We're running behind schedule as always. I'm always running behind schedule. Okay, number three. Here we go. Number three. Describe and guess. Describe and guess. Okay, and the theme is summer. The theme is summer. I'm going to describe things that are associated with summer. I'm going to describe things that are connected with summer. And you guess what I am describing, yeah? No, Miley. Tomorrow. Miley, it's tomorrow. Hmm. She kid, it is 6.05 here in Japan. Okay, let, okay. Um, no poll today, Mitra, because um, with our dictation cards, I couldn't, there wasn't a good, po there weren't good possibilities for a poll. So today it didn't work. The poll didn't work with our dictation cards today. So that's why there are, there's no poll today. Okay, so let's um, describe. Or are you going to guess what I'm describing? And I'm going to show you the sheet. So right here, there are things that are connected with summer. These things are connected with summer. Yeah, Ron, it's six. So um, I'm going to show you the sheet. And I'm going to show it to you for a very short time, a very, very short time. And then I'm going to um, describe these things to you. Sonara's here. Mwah. Sonara, hello. Good to see you, Sonara. Yeah. Okay, Sonara, we're going to do describe and guess. I'm going to describe and you're going to guess. But I'm going to just show you these things for a very, very, very short time. So here we go. There are these things are connected with summer. So please remember these things. Okay, here they are. I'm gonna 10 seconds only. So let's count down. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and off. And bye-bye. Okay. You saw them for a short time. 
Now I'm going to describe one of these things and you tell me in the chat which one I'm describing. Here we go. This is round. It's round and very light. It's round, very light. It's made of plastic. It's plastic and colorful, very light. And people like to um, throw these in the air. They bounce them. Like they take their hand and hit them with their hand. And um, they float on water. And um, they're fun to play with, very easy and very soft. They don't hurt. You can whack it with your hand. You can whack it with your head. You can whack it with your feet. And kids like them, adults like them, everybody likes them. Yes, you got it correct. Oh, 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 wait, wait, Tomas. No, 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 no. Oh, no. It's not, it's not today. Tomorrow. My birthday is tomorrow. My birthday is May 4th. That's when my birthday is. Yep. Okay. Good, good, good. Beach ball. You got it. Beach ball. Okay. Good job. It's a beach ball. You got it. Okay, here we go. Next. Next. All right. This, no, no, it's not a volleyball. It's a beach ball. Beach ball is much bigger and much lighter than a volleyball. A volleyball, no, no problem, Tomas. Thank you. Thank you, Tomas. Okay, here is our next item. This is an... Uh, let's see, it's a, um, it's an appliance. It's an appliance. That means <clears throat> it, it uses um, electricity. And if it's hot in your house, you could turn it on and it will um, create wind. So this is kind of a wind machine. And so if it's hot, we want the air to move, right? And so, so if the air is moving in your house, that means it's going to like cool a little bit. And so um, if, if your house is hot, you turn this on and this creates wind. It creates wind. It's a wind machine and it will cool down a room. It will cool down you, right? So you will feel cooler if this is on. Yeah, not an air conditioner. It's just, it, it has blades. And so all it does is turn the air. So all it does is create wind. It doesn't have any um, cooling properties. It just, it just turns the, the, the air. It just moves the air it moves the air in your house and it's a fan yes it's a fan good job okay let's do one more here we go one more and this our next summer item it's actually living it's alive it 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 it's, it breathes it lives in the ocean and it has five points it has five points and it usually sits on a rock. So it doesn't swim. It, 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 it sits on, on a rock. And um, it has like suction. You know how like a, a octopus has little suction cups? This has suction. And they sit on rocks. And actually they're very beautiful. I think they're very beautiful. They have five points. And they don't swim. They just sit there. <laughs> Things come to them, yeah? And um, so they're very beautiful. And when you see one, you go, oh, look, right? I'm always, if I see one, I always, I feel surprised and I feel happy. When I see one, I feel happy.
puppy. Yeah, so it's a starfish because they have five points and their shape is a star. So, but they don't swim. No, they don't swim. They just sit there. <laughs> they sit on a rock. They have a good life. Okay, yep, it's a starfish. Good job, everyone. Okay, let's look at the picture. Or I should say, the, the sheet. Let's look at the sheet and see what we have done, what we did. Okay, let's look at the ones that we did. We did beach ball. Yeah, so a beach ball, very light, easy to play with, fun to play with, right? So beach balls are very fun. Um, they don't hurt. Everyone can play, little kids can play, big kids can play, old people can play, everyone can play with a beach ball because they are very light and easy to um, play with. Then here's the fan, and the fan has three blades. It uses electricity and it moves the air around, so it cools the room. We need these in Japan because in, in summer is very hot. Summer is very hot in Japan and we need a fan in the summer. And there is our starfish. Yep. So there's five points. One, two, three, four, five points. And there's, they have like little suckers or little suction on the bottom. And they, they attach to rocks and they're very kind and beautiful oh Harry the chat is going very fast in description in my place okay well you were just we're not really de I'm describing Harry I'm describing and you're answering right so you're guessing I'm describing, you're guessing. Actually, we can switch here. Okay, that's fine. Actually, that's a good idea. So I want you to look at these items and let's do the opposite. You describe and I'm gonna guess. Okay, so how about that? Yeah, we can do that. I think that's a good idea. Okay, here we go. So please, Describe, and I will guess. So describe any of these, and I will guess what you are describing, okay? So go ahead and choose any of these items, and then I will guess what you are describing. So we can, we can switch it up here. Let's switch it up. Okay, Tomas, we use it against sunshine, sunblock. Yeah, or Tomas, we use it to protect against sunshine. We use it to, pro to protect against the sunshine. So I'm going to guess that. Or we use it to protect our skin against the sunshine. We use it to protect our skin against the sunshine. Okay, good, good, Tomas. Okay, Sleepwalker, you sit next to it and you are warm. Ah, a campfire, Sleepwalker. You sit next to it and you are warm. A campfire. Lolly, you do it with friends in the garden in summer. Barbecue, barbecue. Okay, Chi Kid, when, you, when we are camping, we need it to cook food. Barbecue. Umesh, it has three wings. It needs electricity 
to run, it blows air. It's a fan, Umesh. Okay, Fabrizio, we use it to make marshmallows at camp. It's a campfire. <laughs> Lolly, you wear them in summer on the beach. Sandals, Lolly. Maya, we use these, these things against the sunshine to save our eyes. Sunglasses, Maya. We use these things. We use these. Okay, because Maya, sunglasses. So we have to use the plural form. We use these things against the sunshine to save our eyes. Sunglasses. Miley, we use it in parks to feel ourselves swinging. S swings, Miley, swings. Mary, I like wearing them to protect my eyes. Sunglasses. Lolly, it protects you from sun. Sunblock. Sleepwalker, as a child, you enjoyed it often. But it is rare to see adults on it. Swings. It's a star of the sea, Alice. Starfish. Tomas, we use it on a trip to pack lots of things into it. Backpack, Tomas. Sonaro, we use it to protect our eyes from the sun and UVB. Sun or, or sunglasses, sunglasses, Sonara. Children play on it and go to and fro. Umesh, swings. Okay, trolley, we use these things to go to school. Sandals. Lolly, well, it's necessary when you walk in the forest. A backpack. Maya, we like to gather around in the evening to have a, a talk and sing. Campfire, Samuel. We use it when we are going to carry something by ourselves. A backpack. Okay, the kids like to play on it. Swings. Fabrizio, you put it on top of a helicopter and try to make it fly. Oh boy. On top of a helicopter to make it fly. Oh, a fan. <laughs> a fan. Okay. <laughs> All right, Tomas. Um, we grill some meat and vegetables. Of barbecue. You guys are like doing good. At, these are great descriptions, everyone. Great descriptions. Umesh, it's done in outdoors. People enjoy it. Campfire. The kids like to play on it. Swings. Maya. Okay, good, good, good. Oh, it's a sea dweller. Harmless and calm. That's got to be a raft. Sleepwalker. I'm guessing a raft. <laughs> Ella. Okay, Lolly. When the weather is hot, it can refresh the air. That's a fan, Lolly. Miley. It is used to go. Okay. It is used to go and see the wonderful under the sea. Oh, okay. Here we go. Okay, I know. It's snorkel. Snorkel. It's used to go and see the wonders under the sea. Okay, my good sentence. I, I didn't read it correct. So good sentence, Miley, one more time. It is used to go and see the wonders under the sea. Snorkel. Yeah, good one, Miley. Okay. It's a he it, if it's heavy, you'll get back pain. That is a backpack, Fabricio. These creatures live in the ocean, maybe in California. Yes, that's correct. Starfish. I think they're mostly like in the Pacific Ocean, Maya. I'm not sure, but I see, you know, I see them in the Pacific Ocean. Okay, we're, we're going to, it's all, already 620. It's almost been, it's already been almost an hour and a half already. Oh boy, time is just 
going too, too fast. Um, actually, what I want to do now, I want to do Lolly's Revenge now. Last week, we didn't have time, and I'm guessing that we're in danger again. Yeah, so right now, we're in danger of time. So normally, at this time, we would do dictation cards, but I want to do Lolly's Revenge first because we didn't do it last week, okay? So we're going to... We're going to do Lolly's Revenge before Dictation Cards. Okay? That way, for sure, we get this done today. Last week, we ran out of time. So right now, we're going to do Lolly's Revenge. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, number four is Lolly's Revenge. Okay, and we're going to have four steps. Step one is the conversation. Step two, uh, questions and answers. Step three, we're going to read it. And then step four, we're going to shadow. That is, we're going to um, say the conversation. We're going to speak the conversation. Okay, so we have four steps. And Lolly's Revenge is a conversation between two people, Joe and Sue. Joe and Sue, all right? And when you see this, this is my thumb, that is when Joe is talking, and this is my pinky, and when my pinky is, when you see my pinky, that is Sue talking, all right? Yeah, we forgot them last week. So sad, so sad. Okay, let's get right to it. We are behind schedule here, everyone. We're behind schedule, so we gotta move. Here we go. Step one, conversation. Joe and Sue, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. Joe is first. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. Which neighbor? Pete, down the street. Oh, wow. How much did he win? I think it was about a million dollars. Geez, I wonder what he'll do with it. He's renting, so he'll probably buy a house. If you won the lottery, what would you do? I would buy a new car. No, no, I would buy you a new car. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. Okay, I'm I messed up. I got to do it again. Okay, I made a mistake. Here we go. One more time. Joe is first. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. Which neighbor? Pete down the street. Oh, wow. How much did he win? I think it was about a million dollars. Geez, I wonder what he'll do with it. He's renting, so he'll probably buy a house. If you won the lottery, what would you do? I would buy you a new car. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> that was better. Okay. Are you ready for the questions? What should we do? I got four questions about the conversation for you. So do you want to listen again? Or are you ready for the questions? Okay, Lolly says, last time, more slowly. Last time, more slowly. So I will read it for the last time, and I will read it slower. Okay, Sonara, no problem. Okay. <laughs> I want to buy a car, but I need to win the lottery. <laughs> okay, here we go. Last time, and I will go slowly. Okay, I will read it slower. No problem, Lolly. Okay, here we go. Joe is first. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. Which neighbor? P. 
repeat down the street. Oh wow! How much did he win? I think it was about a million dollars. Geez, I wonder what he'll do with it. He's renting, so he'll probably buy a house. If you won the lottery, what would you do? I would buy you a new car. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> yep, Pete became rich. <laughs> That's right, Marcos. A fortunate person for sure. Okay, let's check it off. That was the conversation. Now it's time for questions. Yeah, I have four questions for you. Four questions for you. Question number one. Who won the lottery? Who won the lottery? Question number one. Please tell me the answer. Who won the lottery? Do you know the answer? Who won the lottery? Yeah, so it's a lucky pee. <laughs> yeah, okay, no problem. Then their neighbor, yeah, Harry. Pete won the lottery, that's right. Pete down the street won the lottery. Yes, Marcos. That is correct. That is right. Pete, the luckiest neighbor in town. <gasps> Fabricio is very clever. Fabricio is very, very clever. Do you see what Fabricio just did? Fabricio said, Pete, the luckiest neighbor of the town. Who's the luckiest person in town? <laughs> Pete's the luckiest person in town. All right. See, it all comes together. It all, it's all together. That's right. Great, great, great. Okay, that's right. Number, yeah, the luckiest. Hallelujah. <laughs> Pete says, hallelujah. No, we say hallelujah. Because you are wrapping it all together. You are making it all happen. Okay, here we go. Number two. Number two. Question number two. How much did Pete win? How much did Pete win? That's right, Miley. Pete won the lottery. How much did Pete win? How much did he win? Question number two. Yeah, good sleep, Parker. That is correct. Yeah, good, 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 Tran. That is correct. Yes, Lolly, about $1 million. About $1 million. So that's give and take a few hundred thousand. <laughs> give or take a million. Give or take about a million. Give or take about a million. Give or take about a million. That's right, Marcos. Lucky Pete. He's, he is very lucky. The luckiest. The luckiest in town. Okay, here we go. That is enough for me, Sonara. That's enough for me. <laughs> I don't know, maybe not for you, Sonara, but it's enough for me. <laughs> I've, yeah. I would, I would take... One tenth of that. One tenth of that would be great. One hundredth of that would be great. I would love a hundredth. One hundredth of a million. That would be great. One thousandth would be good. A thousandth would be good. One hundred. No, one, one thousandth. Okay, here we go. Number three. Yeah, messy. 
<laughs> oh, Lolly, I know. Lolly says, it's not me, it's Pete. <laughs> Very good, Lolly, I like it. What do you, what would you do? So, so Cheek Kid, what would you do? So that's the, the would. Okay, here we go. Number three, question number three. What would Joe buy Sue? Question number three. What would Joe buy Sue? What would Joe buy Sue? Good, Lolly. Yes, Sleepwalker. Yes, Cheat Kid. Yes, Harry. Good, good, good. What would Joe do? Well, uh, be more specific. Okay? More specific. Would, would, would Joe buy himself a car? There you go, Tomas. So, for Sue. So, Tomas, for Sue. So, not two, four, 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 F O R. Yeah, Umesh. Good, 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 good. Ha. <laughs> so, for Sue, everyone. F O R, F O R, for Sue. Maya says, if Joe won the lottery or a lottery, he would buy a new car for Sue. Ah, Mary, Mary, Joe is the kindest person in town. Who's the kindest person in town? <laughs> Who's the luckiest in town? Pete's the luckiest. Who's the kindest in town? Joe's the kindest in town. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, here we go. Number four. Question number four. Now, this question number four is not in this, okay? You have to, your own, you have to use your imagination. You have to, you, you have to come up with your own answer. It's not in the conversation, okay? So you have to do this on your own. What would Sue buy Joe? If Sue won the lottery, what do you think she would buy Joe? If, if Sue won the lottery, what do you think she would buy Joe? If Sue won the lottery, what would you think, or what do you think she would buy Joe? Okay, so, well, um, what would she buy Joe? So what would Sue buy for Joe? Or what would Sue buy Joe? Okay, a new house, a new TV, says Sonara. So, so Sue would buy Joe a new TV. <laughs> She would buy him a horse. <laughs> I don't know, that sounds funny. I'll buy you a horse. <laughs> That's good. A pair of socks. <laughs> I won a million, I won a million dollars, so I'll buy you a pair of socks. <laughs> Fabrizio, uh, Sue would buy a helmet with straw for drinking beer for Joe. Oh, yeah, yeah, those, those um, helmet, the beer helmets. <laughs> you see those, right? So it's a helmet, it has beer, and then straw comes down. <laughs> those are like for, sporting, for, for sport fans, right? They go to a game, they could drink beer, and they have their hands free. Hands free drinking, hands free drinking. Tomas, I think Sue would buy a ticket to Paris for Joe. A one-way ticket. Oh, no. <laughs> Joe, get out of here. You got a one-way ticket. I'll buy you a one-way ticket out of town. A one-way ticket 
out of town. Mary Sue would buy a ticket to a football match for Joe. Marcos, she would buy Joe a new sofa <laughs> so he could watch TV, take a nap. He could take a nap on a new sofa. Miley, a new job that makes him travel a lot. <laughs> Joe or Sue would um Sue would pay someone to to hire Joe where that job, Joe would have to travel out of town often. Ah, Sleepwalker says, Sue would buy a gym or like a home gym for Joe, a home gym. Maya says, I think if Sue won a lottery, she would buy a new car for Joe too, as it's good thing for both to use. Oh, his and her car. She would buy Joe a Ferrari, a calendar. <laughs> Here, Joe, here's a calendar. Umesh, uh, she would buy tickets for a world tour. Nice. She would buy Joe a pencil. I think Sue and Joe are the happiest couple in town. Who's the happiest couple? Joe and Sue are the happiest couple in town. Yeah. Who, who are the happiest couple in town? Sue and Joe are the happiest couple in town. Marco, she would buy him a ticket to Vegas to play at the Tropicana. Actually, uh, Marcos, I just on uh, I have Amazon Prime, so they have they have some movies, right? And I just watched The Hangover. That ha that's been a long time. I haven't seen that movie in a long, long time. And it's called The Hangover. And it's very funny. It's, they have a bachelor party in Las Vegas. And it's, it's very funny. It's a funny movie. Okay. Good job, everyone. Yep. Okay. That was the question and answer. So great job on that. Okay. Let's... Let's read it together. Let's read it together. That's right. They are the happiest couple in town. <laughs> Fabrizio, she would buy him the neighbor's house. Move. So, Joe, I, I love Joe, but I don't want him too close. I, want, I, don't want him, I don't want him in the same house, just next door. Okay, good job. Okay, let's... um. Let's read the conversation together. All right, let's read it. So here we go. There's the conversation right here. Let's read it together. Okay, here we go. Joe is first. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. Which neighbor? Pete, down the street. Oh, wow. How much did he win? I think it was about a million dollars. Jeez, I wonder what he'll do with it. He's renting, so he'll probably buy a house. If you won the lottery, what would you do? I would buy you a new car. Thanks, Joe. Okay, let's do it one more time. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. Which neighbor? Pete, down the street. Oh, wow. How much did he win? I think it was about a million dollars. Jeez, I wonder what he'll do with it. He's renting, so he'll probably buy a house. If you won the lottery, what would you do? I would buy you a new car. Thanks, Joe. <laughs> good Joe. Joe's a good man. Yes, he is. Okay. That was the com We just read it. So now let's shadow. Okay. So let's shadow it now. So now, okay, that was reading. So let's mark it off. So we read the conversation. Okay. Now let's shadow the conversation. Speaking practice. Yeah. So let's. Say it together, all right? Let's, 
um, say the conversation together. At the same time, you're using two skills, your listening skills and speaking skills. At the same time, input, output, input, output. It's a challenge, but that's why you are here. Here we go. Countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out. I just found out. I just found out. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. That our neighbor won the lottery. That our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. Which neighbor? Which neighbor? Which neighbor? Which neighbor? Pete down the street. Pete down the street. Pete down the street. Oh wow, how much did he win? 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 I think it was about a million dollars. I think it was about a million dollars. I think it was about. It was about. It was about. It was about. I think it was about a million dollars. I think it was about a million dollars. I think it was about a million dollars. Jeez, 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 jeez. I wonder what he'll do with it. I wonder what he'll do with it. I wonder what he will do with it. I wonder what he will do with it. I wonder what he'll do with it. I wonder what he'll do with it. I wonder what he will do with it. He's renting, so he'll probably buy a house. He's renting, so he'll probably buy a house. He's renting, so he'll probably buy a house. He's renting, so he will probably buy a house. He is renting, so he will probably buy a house. He's renting, so he'll probably buy a house. He's renting, so he'll probably buy a house. He is renting, so he will probably buy a house. If you won the lottery, what would you do? If you won the lottery, what would you do? If you won the lottery, what would you do? If you won the lottery, what would you do? 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 If you won the lottery, what would you do? If you won the lottery, what would you do? If you won the lottery, what would you do? If you won the lottery, what would you do? I would buy you a new car. 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 Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Joe. Okay, one more time. The first this is a very long sentence, yeah? Right there, that first one, that's a very long sentence. So let's just practice real quick here. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out, I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. 
<laughs> okay. Let's. That was shattering, yeah. So we said the conversation together. We practiced together. Actually, I want to look at the conversation one more time. All right. So let's look at it one more time. So the first one, that 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 first sentence is very long. So let's look at it again. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that. I just found out. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. So those kind of that that those words might blend in together, right? So they might for you, they might just kind of blend in together and become one. It might be difficult for you. So let's look at it again. Let's go slowly. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. I just found out that our neighbor won the lottery. Which neighbor? Which neighbor? Which neighbor? Pete down the street. Pete down the street. Pete down the street. Oh wow, how much did he win? Oh wow, how much did he win? Oh wow, how much did he win? I think it was about a million dollars. 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 Jeez, 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 jeez. I wonder what he'll do with it. I wonder what he'll do with it. I wonder what he will do with it. What he will do with it. He will, he will, he'll, he'll, he'll. I wonder what he'll do with it. I wonder what he'll do with it. He's renting. So he'll probably buy a house. He's renting. So he'll, he'll, he'll probably buy a house. He will. Probably, 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 probably. That's a hard, there's those, those two B's and the L-Y, right? So we got the B-B and L-Y. So those are, that's hard. Probably, 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 <laughs> probably. Here we go. Probably, probably, probably. 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 It's hard to say. Probably. Probably. That's a hard one. He's renting, so he'll probably buy a house. Probably buy a house. Probably buy a house. He will probably buy a house. If you won the lottery, what would you do? If you won the lottery, what would you do? If you won the lottery, what would you do? If you won the lottery, what would you do? I would buy a new car. I would buy a new car. Thanks, Joe. Okay. There you go. <laughs> Good job. That was, that was Joe and Sue. Okay. So... Ah, Lolly asked me, Mark, if you won the lottery, what would you do? Ah, oh, that's hard. I would, maybe I would leave Japan. <laughs> no, um, maybe if it was a lot, if it was, if it was a million dollars, yeah, I would go home. <laughs> I would move back to California. If, if, if I would, if it was a million I would take my family and we would go back to America.
go back to be honest I would go back oh good Mary good Mary okay well um I want to do some of the dictation cards okay because our, our main focus was on this this grammar point so let's go ahead and do our dictation cards okay and we don't have to we'll just do it short time because we're, we're almost out of time okay so number five here okay so let's go we got space right here number five there's five right there oh uh, and and I would Go back to the States, and of course, I would go to Paris, or I would go to France, Lolly. I would, I would want to meet you. I want to meet you, so I would buy a ticket to France to, to have coffee with you, Lolly. And I would go to France to have onion pie with you, Lolly. That would be my dream, to have onion pie with you. Okay, this is... Um, Dictation. Okay, and our topic, while and during. While and during. Okay, while two actions happening at the same time. While two actions happening. At, at, two actions happening at the same time. Two actions happening at the same time. While, so I was having onion pie, I was having onion pie while talking with Lolly, right? Two actions happening at the same time. I was having onion pie and while I was having, oh boy, I was having onion pie while talking with Lolly. One more time. I was having onion pie while talking with Lolly. Two actions happening at the same time, while. During, during, in the middle of something, in the middle of something, during, in the middle of something, during having my onion pie <laughs> during having my middle during having my onion pie lolly came into the restaurant during during having onion pie lolly came into the restaurant one more time during Having my onion pie, Lolly came into the restaurant. Okay. There we go. Okay. Dictation cards. While and during. And we're going to do just a, a kind of a, a short version. Okay. We're going to do a short version. We will do um, not eight because we don't have time. So I'm going to choose maybe uh two and two okay two while okay here's one while and okay so i got two while cards and now i need during yeah now i need during so here's one during card and Okay, so we got four cards. We're just going to do a short version today. 
got four cards, two wild cards, two during cards. All right, so we're going to do dictation. So you need a pencil and paper. Yeah, pencil and paper. We're going to do dictation. And step one, I will go fast. And step two, I will go slow. All right, so if, if I'm going too fast, don't worry, I will do a slower version. So there's going to be two versions. We're going to do a fast version, dictation. So we're going to do fast and slow. So don't worry, I'm going to, so the part one, I'm going to go fast. And then part two, I'm going to go slow. And then after dictation, we will do shadowing. And then a quiz. Okay, so dictation, that means you need a pencil and paper because you're going to listen and write down what I say word for word. And our step one, or our, our, our first version is going to be fast, and then our second version will be slow. Okay, so if you can, you know, so. This is good for you to challenge yourself, right? So if you go, oh, Mark's going too fast, don't worry because I will go slow. So you're kind of like testing yourself. You're seeing how, um, how, how well you can do when I go fast, okay? And then don't worry, I will go slow. So here we go, countdown. Today we have four cards, four cards. So here we go, countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. Here we go, dictation, fast. Don't smoke during the meal. Don't smoke during the meal. Don't smoke during the meal. So that was fast. If you could do it, do it. Oh, okay, okay, Sleepwalker has a question. Um, how should we call a person who likes things like lottery, gamble, a gambler, yep, gambler, a gambler, that's right. Okay, here we go, card number two. I went shopping during my lunch break. I went shopping during my lunch break. I went shopping during my lunch break. That's card number Okay, card number three. He tripped while going down the stairs. He tripped while going down the stairs. He tripped while going down the stairs. That was number three. Okay, card number four. Last card. Last one. They served dessert while we were still eating. They served dessert while we were still eating. They served dessert while we were still eating. That was fast. How'd you do on that one? How'd you do on number four? Yeah, Sleepwalker. Sleepwalker is the cleverest person in town.
Okay, yeah. You guys are doing, you guys are great. Okay, so that was the fast. Now we'll go slow. So if, if, if that was too fast for you, don't worry. Now I'm going to go slow, okay? So don't worry. Okay, so here we go. Slow. This is dictation. Slow version. <laughs> here we go. Countdown for the slow version. Five, four, three, two, one. Card number one. Don't smoke during the meal. Don't smoke during the meal. Yeah, trolley, don't, yep, that, no problem. We have people, you know, there, there's people here at different stages of their learning, right? We have people who are advanced and we also have beginners here. So we have many people at different levels and, and you know, different periods of their learning. So um, we, different stages, right? People who are later, in, you know, they're, they're learning, they're, they're, their ability is very high, and we got low, low ability people too. So we got everyone here, so don't worry. Okay, so second time. Don't smoke during the meal. Don't smoke during the meal. Okay, card number two. I went shopping during my lunch break. Uh, um, Tran, because it, it doesn't, it's... It, 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 yeah, it sounds strange. So while, right, two things happening at the same time, right? So, um, yeah, that, that, don't smoke while, you can, okay, you can say eating, but meal is the noun. Meal is a noun, so like don't smoke while the meal, you could use it with, you need to use it with a verb. So, so for example, um, yeah, so the while you need to use with the verb. So you can say don't smoke while eating, that works, don't smoke while eating, but not with meal. Okay, here we, um, here, second time. I went shopping during my lunch break. Okay, Fabricio, don't smoke while you are eating. While you are. Yeah, don't smoke while eating. That, that, that's a good sentence. Okay, third time. I went shopping during my lunch break. Yeah, we don't say within, we, um, so within and eating don't go together. So that those don't collocate together, within eating. We, um, within would be like, um, within, so, don't, don't have water within 20 minutes. So within is like a time reference, sleepwalker. So let's say you're at the doctor's office and they say, oh, don't drink within your physical. So, um, or don't drink within 20 minutes. So yeah, it's better with time. Don't, don't, don't eat within... 20 minutes before swimming. Don't eat within 30 minutes before swimming. Yeah. Yeah, okay, good, good, sleepwalker. Okay, 
I went shopping during my lunch break. Okay, card number three. He tripped while going down the stairs. He tripped while going down the stairs. He tripped while going down the stairs. Okay, number four, card number four. They served dessert while we were still eating. They served dessert while we were still eating. Number three, or third time, third time. They served dessert while we were still eating. Yeah, let's see, Maya. I'm, I'm kind of thinking within, okay, we use it like with time usually, right? Within 20 minutes, within an hour. So that's a noun, right? An hour. Yeah, Maya, good. Okay, there we go. That was slow. So we did it, we did it quickly and slowly. Now it's time to shadow. And so now it is speaking practice, not writing practice, but speaking practice. So now we will shadow these four cards. And then I will show you the sentence. You will see the sentence. You will see the picture. We will talk about the meaning. Okay, so let's shadow. Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, shadow time. Don't smoke during the meal. 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 So during, in the middle of, right? So you're, you're, you're eating, you're having your meal. Don't, don't be smoking because it's rude and, it, you know, people are eating. They don't want your smoke in their food, right? People don't want your smoke, your cigarette smoke in their food. So don't smoke during the meal. Please go outside. Um, but don't smoke during the meal. Card number two. I went shopping during my lunch break. 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 Okay, so during middle of something right so you're at work in the middle of your work you have a lunch break and so maybe you have one hour break and so oh i have time i'm going to go to the supermarket and do my shopping i have time the supermarket is very close so i can do my shopping during my work break and i will save time right I went shopping during my lunch break. That's very smart. <laughs> Killed two birds with one stone. Okay, here we go. Card number three. He tripped while going down the stairs. He tripped while going down the stairs. He tripped while going down the stairs. Oh no, is he okay? He tripped while going down the stairs. So two actions happening at the same time, right? So going down the stairs and tripping, right? Two actions happening at the same time. He tripped while going down the stairs. Ouch, 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 double ouch. <laughs> okay, here we go, last card, number four. 
They served dessert while we were still eating. 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 Oh no! Two actions happening at the same time. Eating and they serve dessert. Oh, don't, don't serve the dessert yet. After the meal, not during the meal. After the meal, not in the middle. No, at the end. They serve dessert while we were still eating. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, that was shadowing. Okay, great. Now it's time for the quiz. So we're going to use two cards. So I'm going to choose two cards here. I'm shuffling them up a little bit. And you're going to look at the picture. And then by looking at the picture, you're going to write the sentence. So you're going to write the sentence based on the picture. Okay. So here you go. You can't see the sentence, only the picture. In the chat, write the sentence. Okay, write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. Okay, Sleepwalker, I went shopping during my lunch break. Fabricio, I went shopping during my lunch break. Maya, I, w I would eat only if I could. <laughs> you could eat dessert for the meal, right? I would, I would eat dessert as the meal or I would substitute dessert for the meal. Excuse me, can I substitute the dessert for the meal? <laughs> I just want the dessert. I don't need the meal. Okay, looks like you guys got it. No problem. Marco says, I went shopping during my lunch break. Tomas says, I went shopping during my lunch break. Miley says, I went shopping during my lunch break. Here we go. Here is the sentence. I went shopping during my lunch break. You are correct. That is the right sentence. Okay, here we go. One more sentence. And here we go. Please write the sentence in the chat. One more and then we're finished. Write the sentence in the chat. Write the sentence in the chat. <laughs> Maya says, my meal would be all dessert. <laughs> now, Maya, that would not be healthy. That would not be good for your body. That would not be good for your health. Would it, Maya? You know better. Okay, here we go. Fabricio, they served dessert while we were still eating. That's a bad restaurant. Sleepwalker, they served dessert while we were still eating. Bad. It was a bad restaurant. Mary, they served dessert while we were still eating. I can't believe that restaurant. I can't believe that restaurant. They served dessert while we were still eating. <laughs> Miley says, they serve dessert while we were still eating. They are in a hurry to clear away or they are in a hurry to get us out. Right? Right, Miley? That restaurant was in a hurry to get us out. Very rude. <laughs> Maya. Maya. Just common sense. <laughs> 
Okay, let's check the sentence and you got it. They served dessert while we were still eating. They wanted us out, so they served us meal. Just shoo shoo, get out, shoo shoo, go, go, leave the restaurant, shoo shoo. Okay, that was the quiz. Today we had a short version of the dictation cards, but I think that was good. No problem, right? We did, we did good. We did while, meaning two actions happening at the same time. They served us dessert while we were still eating. Yeah, so we were eating and they served us dessert. So two things happening at the same time. During, in the middle of something, uh, I went shopping during my lunch break. So you're, you got work and so in the middle of your lunch break, in the middle of your work, you went shopping. Okay, so while during, we did uh, superlatives, superlatives. Who's the politest in town? Peter is the politest in town. Who's the most talented? Tim is the most talented in town. Who's the tallest? Ted is the tallest in town. Who's the friendliest? Fran is the friendliest in town. Who's the noisiest? Nick is the noisiest in town. Who's the most energetic in town? Emily is the most energetic in town. Yeah, so we did that and we had lots of fun today. We're going to have more fun on Friday. I will be back here on Friday for you. And I hope you can be back here with me. And I just want to say thank you, green team. Mwah. The green team, you see their names in green. They support me. So I want to say you thank you thank you green team Mwah. love you love you love you and if you want me <laughs> if you if you like what i'm doing please help me support me so i can help you so i can support you yeah help me so i can help you support me so i can support you yeah so um thanks thanks so much everyone i have books at amazon.com please join the channel i got patreon another way to um help me I have a website, markkulik.com, with flashcards and worksheets that go with my videos. So everything is in the link. Is well, the link is in the descriptions below the video. So all the links are in the descriptions below the video. So please check those out. Thank you so much, Fabrizio. Mwah. I will be back on Friday. Yes, Friday. That is. May 6th. I will be back here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, anyways. Let's see. Miley says, which is the fastest restaurant in town? What dessert serves while you are still eating? Yes. That is the fastest restaurant in town. <laughs> They're the rudest. How about that, Miley? What is the rudest restaurant in town? Yes, that, that restaurant that serves you dessert while you are still eating. They are the rudest restaurant in town. Thank you, Marcos. I appreciate it. Okay. Well, um, yep. Thank you. So I'll be back on Friday. So please join me on Friday. And um, until then, smile, have fun, be careful, peace and love. Let, let's... Pray for peace and love, everyone. Let, let's, the world is in bad shape right now. So let, let's pray for peace and love. Okay, everyone, you know, smile, do your best, and um, take care of yourself. Okay? Mwah. Love and peace for you and your family and the world. Okay, let's count down to saying goodbye. Thank you, Miley, so much. Thank you. Mwah. Peace and love, everyone. Thank you so much. Sonara, thank you so much. Okay, let's say goodbye. Let's count down. I have to go. I'm way over time. <laughs> Here we go. Count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you so much. I will see you on Friday. Peace and love, everyone, to you and your family. Thank you. Take care. Bye.